the Justice Department is trying to force Facebook to disclose information about thousands of people who liked a page opposing President Donald Trump. The Dodge wants to access all the information from the profiles of three activists connected to the DISRUPTJ20 protests on the day of Trump's January inauguration. The protests turned violent in part, and, with a couple hundred people having been charged over the Washington, D.C. riots, the authorities are going after online information relating to DISRUPTJ20.1 of the three, being targeted by the Dodge, Emilia Telerico was an administrator and moderator for the DISRUPTJ20 Facebook page, since renamed Resist This. According to a legal filing by the D.C. branch of the American Civil Liberties Union a clue, the information being sought about that page would include personal details of thousands of other Facebook users who interacted with it. The page was liked by an estimated 6,000 people before February 9, when the Dodge secretly hit Facebook with search warrants. Although the page was public, the department is also after details of those who said they might attend events organized through the page, or who merely reacted to content shared from the page. The ACLU is representing Telerico and the other two activists, Lacey McAppoli and Leigh Bacarifer, in the case. It argues that the Dodge is after too much information about the three, their entire Facebook activities covering a 90-day period, and is trying to share this information too widely within the government. The primary purpose of the Fourth Amendment was to prevent this type of exploratory rummaging through a person's private information, said a clue lawyer Scott Michaelman. Moreover, when law enforcement officers can comb through records concerning political organizing in opposition to the very administration for which those officers work, the result is the chilling of First Amendment protected political activity. Last month, the website hosting provider Dreamhist revealed that the Dodge was seeking information regarding the DISRUPTJ20.org website, which ran off its servers. Following considerable pushback, the Dodge dropped its attempt to extract information about more than a million people who visited the site, but it did succeed in getting a judge to order Dreamhist to hand over other site data. However, the court also ordered strict oversight for how the Justice Department could comb through the data it received and forbade it from sharing the information with other government agencies. The ACLU is after something similar in the DISRUPTJ20 Facebook case. And if you are wondering whether Facebook pushed back against the Dodge, it did, at least as far as challenging the gag order that went along with the February warrants. The department dropped that element of the case earlier this month allowing Facebook to tell Telerico, Carrefour, and Macapoli that they were being targeted.